you want to drive staples vertically at the bottom of the corner post and at the top of the brace post, leaving them out a half inch in the direction that the fence will be running. And the brace wire is installed by lacing the wire through the staple at the bottom of the corner post, coming up to the top of the brace post. And you'll basically go around this, this twice, around the brace assembly twice. This particular fence will be running from left to right on your screen. Saw a little trick of sticking the wire in the ground to stop it from running away on you. When cutting the brace wire off the spool, make sure that you have control of both ends. Finish lacing the wire off to where you have two complete rounds around the assembly. Using a splicing sleeve, slip over one end of the wire, and then approximately six inches from the end of the wire, you want to make a, a bend 180 degrees in the wire to slip on a strainer crank. There's multiple sleeves in the industry. You'll need one that fits on 12 and a half gauge high tensile smooth wire. These can be found at your local egg supply store or redbrand.com. Use a crimp tool to crimp the sleeve onto the wire with multiple crimps. Again, these can be found at your local egg supply store or redbrand.com. Take the other end of the wire, slip through the hole that's in the strainer crank, and remove as much slack as you can. You may be wondering why we don't use a twitch stick and just wrap the wire together like you see in so many applications. It can cause harm to animals. But they can get their legs caught. This is a much safer method. Cut the excess off. Put a hook on the end of the wire to ensure that it does not slip back out of the gear. Then take a tensioning tool and ratchet the strainer crank tight. Ensure that there's not any places for the wire to bind, pinch. Finish ratcheting the assembly till it's taut. Finish by driving the staples slightly loose. By leaving them loose, it'll allow for further adjustments of your brace wire. Next, we're going to demonstrate how to attach a strainer crank without a crimp sleeve or crimp tool by simply wrapping the wire.
Here we're going to demonstrate a different type of strainer crank that's in the industry. This one requires an adjustable wrench for ratcheting. The fencing system may require a double H brace for longer spans of fencing. The process is very similar. However, with your middle brace pin, you'll want to leave a tail to affix your second cross member. The tail is two to three inches long. Install similar to the single H brace. Again, measure down. Drill your hole for your last brace pin. Install the final brace pin, driving in flush. Here again, the brace wire is installed very similar to what we had on the single edge, except it'll be repeated in the secondary brace assembly. So you have two brace wires, and again, this ties all of this together as one unit. And here you have a finished double H brace. Your fence project may require a corner brace system. The approach is very similar to the single H brace. You'll need to measure down for your cross members. On the corner brace, making sure to drill three quarters of the way through for each hole. Drill all your holes in your corner post before installing any brace pins. Drill all the way through on your brace posts. Install your cross members similar to the single H brace. Install the brace wire. Again, very similar to the single H brace from the bottom of your corner post to the top of your brace post in the direction that the fence will be going. And again, from the bottom of your corner post to the top of your brace post going the other direction. We hope that the techniques that we showed you today are beneficial in your fence construction project. The tools we use today can be found at your local ag supply store or on our website. Also, for a list of local Red Brand dealers, log on to redbrand.com.